At the Sidemen charity football match, I did something that none of you noticed. Not that. Definitely not that. But this. This is me with a swap, and I'm about to try and steal some DNA in front of 64,000 people. Look at all these people out here. So I can make cheese. Just because you've got good bacteria, it doesn't mean to say you're going to make nice cheese. My targets would be Mr. Beast. That was insane. And KSI. I can see John Cena. But would they realize what I was doing and why I was doing it? Individual. Well, to answer that second question, let's rewind to three days before the match. He knows I'm here. Now, although I might look at it, I'm not totally crazy. This has been done before. They got bacteria from hands and armpits of people, put it in milk, and then turned that milk into cheese. So this is possible. This is doable. I'm playing in the Sidemen charity match in a couple of days' time. Mr. Beast and also KSI are going to be there. So I'm thinking I make cheeses out of both of them, and I decide who makes the yummier cheese. <laughs> but the big question here, why? I have the answer for you. These are the two creators with the biggest brands in the world. You've got Prime. Prime! I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and you've got Feastables. These nuts taste so good. Those two brands are representations of Mr. Beast and KSI. They're YouTuber products, but they are not products of the YouTuber. There has never been a product made from the YouTuber until now. And I'm gonna make that with cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna make cheese out of Mr. Beast and KSI. And so I think I'm gonna need swabs. Luckily, you can get hold of anything online these days. So I went and bought some things I remembered from science class, some sterile swabs and Petri dishes and made my way to the game. Right, it's the morning of the big day. I'm playing in a football match today in front of 60,000 people, but also I have to try and steal Mr. Beast and KSI's DNA. In order for this to work, I'd have to obtain a sample of each of the target's sweat at some point during the day. The more the sweat, the more bacteria. So I'd need them to be proper moist. Once I'd got their bacteria, I'd have to immediately transfer the swab to an agar-filled Petri dish, which would keep the samples alive long enough to hopefully be made into cheese. I just need to find the opportunity to get the bacteria, <laughs> which is going to be so hard. As I joined the rest of the players downstairs, I was hoping to make first contact with my cheesy duo, but rather worryingly, they didn't seem to be at the team hotel. Good, you, bro. <laughs> Good to see you. How, How you doing? Yeah, thanks, mate. And instead, I only seemed to be able to find people who, frankly, I had no interest in making cheese from whatsoever. Good morning. Thanks, thanks. After a family bonding meal, I finally got onto the bus to the stadium, and I spotted my first target. Oh, yeah. Got the Q-tip here. I mean, I could go for it now, but I don't think I will. There it is. Old Beastie Boy was a little too dry currently for me to wangle a Q-tip round his neck. But as neither KSI nor Mr. Beast were playing on my team, I was keen to make contact as soon as possible. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wow. This audio is unusable. Whilst I love a boisterous locker room full of lads as much as the next man, I had a mission to complete. Just gonna escape out. At this point, I was hoping just to say hello to Jimmy and JJ. Here they are. But they were nowhere to be seen. I mean, has anyone told you that those shoes really suck? Oh, you? God, they look great. <laughs> but then, minutes before the game was due to start, Jimmy appeared. What's it like out there? It's a perfect time when you just want to run out there and film stuff. No one's out there. Okay. It's amazing. Got first contact with Jimmy. He knows who I am, he knows I'm here. With first contact made, it was time to turn my attention to the match, and as it started, so did the waiting game. With both of my ingredient factories now in sight, I just had to find the right moment when they were nice and sweaty. So I tucked two sterile swabs in my sock and hit the pitch. And they're all right. But I had a couple of other things to take care of first. Bosh. Bosh. The swabs are in my sock. What a kick for the sidemen. Oh, and one more thing. Despite my best efforts in carrying the YouTube All-Stars, we couldn't quite match the prowess of Sidemen FC. And with that, the game was over. And I'd been so distracted during the match, I now had mere moments to complete my mission. What a goal! What a game just ended. So I grabbed my swabs, and I just went for it. Oh, Jimmy, well played, mate. You did good. Yeah, thanks, man. Swab number one, complete. Now on to JJ. Swab number two in the bag. Okay, mate. I don't even need to re-go. Okay, 
Piano can't score. <laughs> My little escapade even got caught on the live stream and no one noticed. Charity, and that's what we've done. With the samples gathered, the winning trophy celebration was my perfect smokescreen. All I had to do was safely apply the bacteria from my swabs to the Petri dishes. A few days later and safely back at HQ, it was time to check on the goods. This is what the boys look like in bacteria form. Over here, we've got JJ. That's what grows on your skin after playing 90 minutes of football. You think KSI has got some bad bacteria? Look at Jimmy. I don't know whether that's gross or really cool. Definitely gross. I don't know what I was thinking. But now that I had some live and kicking bacteria, it was time to create the first ever real YouTuber product. Let's go create some cheese, baby. And to do that, I'd be heading to Fen Farm Dairy to meet up with Johnny, our helpful cheesemaker friend. The most important thing is that those Petri dishes do not get opened, because then it genuinely becomes a biohazard. I don't want my car stinking of Mr. Beast, thank you very much. Johnny, hello, nice You're to meet right. you. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Johnny is the owner of this cheese factory, and he'd be helping me transform our sweaty swabs into actual cheese. Cheese entrance. <laughs> Authorised personnel only, and apparently today that's me. Before we could start this process, he had to check the quality of the bacteria. This is KSI. This okay. is Mr. Beast. What okay. are your first thoughts by just looking at these bits of bacteria? I would say Mr. Beast has not washed quite as well as KSI. <laughs> And then finally, we started the cheese making process. First things first, so the bacteria off both Mr. Beast and KSI is mixed through the milk thoroughly. Have you got any sort of predictions what the flavour of KSI <laughs> will be or? No idea. And here comes Mr. Beast. Here he comes. The next step is that we're going to send a sample from this milk tomorrow off to an accredited lab in the UK which will test for bad bacteria. So it's safe. Absolutely, yeah. So soon, we will have cheese. A safe cheese. Absolutely, yeah. Now, as excited as Johnny was to help me out, he'd be making this human cheese off-site, away from his normal produce, just in case there was a mix-up and someone got a nasty surprise at Tesco. The milk comes through that pipe. It then goes through this pasteuriser. This is where we would normally add our cultures. So that um, is what so we add it turns into into yeah. As I was being filled to the brim with cheese facts, Johnny then said something really interesting. Just because they say they're good bacteria doesn't mean to say they won't taste disgusting. Which didn't bode well for the all-important taste test. But after helping myself to some freebies that I assumed were up for grabs, I'd only have to wait two weeks to see the results. It's, it's fungi, so... Um... <laughs> um... I have a parcel, and I think I know what it is. Jesus, have arrived! Oh... It stinks! <laughs> the first YouTuber product made out of a YouTuber. Now, it's time to see who wins. Presenting the first of our YouTuber cheeses, made from a rare South Carolinian bacteria, Cheese Nuts. And being judged alongside it in the Battle of the Cheeses, a rather punchy number, Side Manchego. And deciding once and for all who would be the victor is legendary food critic Matthew Fort. I actually think this beef is, is perfectly flavoured for this particular dish. In front of you, Mr Fort, are two cheeses made with the bacteria from two human beings. Now, have you had... <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was a trick here somewhere. <laughs> this one is called Cheese Nuts. It's a sort of, looks like a sort of mousse-like texture. Whew. I don't know whether that's the human or the milk. This one is called Side Manchego. If I compare the two, the, the texture of this cheese seems to be slightly different. This seems to be slightly creamier. That one seems to be more moussey. And now onto the all-important taste test. Mmm, quite soft. Bitterness at the back of the tongue. But does it, it, it taste nice? A cheese of character, I would call that. It's got a real tang to it. Very easy to eat. I think probably this is the one I would put on a biscuit. 
Are they remarkably different in their in their flavour profiles? Differences, yeah. I think that they. Um, this is a more sophisticated, it's a more integrated cheese. This is a, a bit sharper, a bit rawer, I would have said. So, Matthew, you've had your cheese, you've had them with your biscuits. If you were to choose one of the two cheeses, which one would you choose? It's a, it's a tricky one, but if, if I was really pushed to it, this chappy here. Side Manchego. Side Manchego, as you say. With KSI the victor in the first ever YouTuber battle of the cheeses, I thought it was time to come clean to him and lay my curds on the table. Hello, mate. Sick, twisted individual. <laughs> Have you seen the clip when I did it as well? <laughs> so casual! You had no idea. I've got it right here. This is your cheese. I gave it to a food critic to see which cheese he preferred. And you, you won! You beat Jimmy! Oh wow, well, I tasted nicer! <laughs> Maybe because I'm more healthy! <laughs> Mate, put it in the bin. I'm putting it straight in the f***ing bin. It's going nowhere. I love your videos, man. Uh, you've done it again, bro. Uh, <laughs> done it again. Well, JJ's a fan. <laughs>